meters away from the station still and that's uh, just the crew not issuing any abort commands at that point it would be uh, too late and so any aborts would be executed automatically by Dragon itself. So we're closing in at less than a tenth of a meter per second at this point. You can see the, the service section Draco is just doing all these very small minor attitude corrections. Really the, the autonomous docking system at work making sure that the the uh, vestibule and the soft capture system is lined up with IDA2. It's the international docking adapter. You can see much more clearly there the hinge mechanism for the nose cone. Those four uh, black circles are the forward bulkhead Dracos, not to be used at this time. And then of course the, the pedals of the soft capture system. Dragon on the big loop, we're inside 10 meters. We cannot make out the target stocking target, but we do see the outline. We copy and concur, 10 meters. All right, we're less than 10 meters away. Again, we're closing at that rate of less than a tenth of a meter per second. We should be just about one minute, 45 seconds away from docking. There is a, uh, a center line camera right in that middle so that you can see where the forward hatch is uh, and right in the middle of that there's a window and there's a center line camera that is aligned with the center of the vehicle and the center of the docking mechanism. So that is, is what the autonomous docking system is using to line up with uh, sort of a cross hatch, um, cross target on the, the docking port. Again the forward docking port um, on PMA2, or the pressurized mating adapter. And we are just five meters away. Again, we're racing that sunset. This dragon continues to close, four meters to go. Those shadows of the, of the space station on the vehicle. Yeah, you can actually see the uh, centerline camera pretty clearly there. Um, sort of with the contrast of the, the sun right now. Three meters to go. Two meters. We are inside the hands-off point, the chopped crew hands-off point. One meter to go. Soft capture complete. Dragon <laughs> Soft capture confirmed. Stand by for retraction and docking. Stand by. And we just heard it. Soft capture. We have docking. That coming at 7.16 a.m. Pacific time with the station and Dragon flying 262 statute miles right over the border between northern China and Mongolia. You saw a little bit of motion there uh, of Dragon. That was that relative motion that the soft capture system is damping out. Once that motion is, is clear, then uh, the soft capture system will be retract, retracted and uh, Dragon will go for hard capture. Again, if just now tuning in, that soft capture, that docking coming 7.16 a.m. Pacific, 10.16 a.m. over on the East Coast, Dragon and the International Space Station were flying 262 statute miles right over the border between northern China and Mongolia.
That's right. And we're, we're expecting to hear some words from everybody. A pretty monumental moment. I mean, for Doug Hurley, he's returning to where he last docked uh, almost nine years ago on the very last space shuttle mission, uh, now commanding the very first commercial spacecraft to deliver astronauts to the International Space Station. That's, that's got to be cool for them. Uh, they've, they've mentioned quite a few times that their best friends uh, are our favorite dads in space, as we've been calling them. Uh, this, is, this has got to be really cool for them. Five that started about, uh, I don't know, 25 minutes ago or so, and so I uh, just wanting to understand how much time we've got in front of us. In Dragon SpaceX, we estimate we are about an hour to Dragon Hatch opening. that and uh, thanks for uh, those words it just helps us uh, manage getting things done and uh, looks like you guys are on board uh, welcome aboard uh, I guess the integrated uh, space station now huh indeed thank you so much never copies with pleasure we'll be there in a second We have Bob Bankin from SpaceX Demo 2 mission entering the International Space Station. Followed by Doug Hurley. 